Hi guys, this is Gregor for Personas, and today we want to take a look at the grid in Studio One. So the grid, as you might know, are all these vertical lines that help you navigate and orientate yourself inside of Studio One's timeline. But specifically, we want to talk about grid snapping today, which is a great tool that helps you to edit faster and makes all the events snap kind of magnetically. And you can really customize that to your liking. Let's check it out. Snapping allows editing actions to occur only at specified divisions in time, such as bars, beats, seconds, and frames, making editing easier when working with tempo-specific material. When Snap is enabled, your playhead cursor, your tools, and your events are going to be snapped to the grid value that your mouse cursor is the closest to, almost like a magnet. The Snap option is engaged by default and can be disabled or enabled by toggling the Snap to Grid button here. You can also disable this behavior temporarily by holding down the Shift key as you're clicking and dragging an event around. There are several behaviors to choose from when we have Snap to Grid enabled. The first setting, which is the default setting, is adaptive. When this is engaged, then the snapping always occurs at the nearest division of your currently set time base. The time base can be selected directly on the left of the Snap menu. For the time base, you can choose between seconds, samples, bars, and beats, or frames if you're working with video. And the adapter setting is going to make sure that the snapping always follows this time base. What's great is that the adaptive setting also takes into account how far you're zoomed in. This is very handy because if you're zoomed in further, then you probably want to make very small and detailed changes, whereas when you're zoomed all the way out, then you probably want to make more coarse changes to your arrangement. The adaptive setting is anticipating just that, meaning that you don't have to adjust your snap settings manually so much. Alternatively, you can set your snap behavior to bars as well. And if you do that, then your tools, events, and cursors are going to snap to the nearest musical bar line as long as your time base is set to bars as well. With quantize snapping, things will snap to the nearest musical subdivision. And you can also make it so that this always follows your input quantization, meaning the quantization that is being used as you're recording something live from a MIDI keyboard, for instance. There's also the option here for frame snapping. When this is set, then your events, your playhead cursor, and your editing tools will always snap to the nearest frame based on the frame rate that you can set in the song settings. And finally, there's some very handy additional grid options that we can enable for any of the settings that we just discussed. Snap to cursor and loop activates additional snapping to the playback cursor and the loop start and end points. Snap to events enables snapping relative to events in the arrangement. Note that this can be toggled in addition to snap to cursor and loop, and that is also true for any of the other behaviors. Snap to zero crossings, this option ensures that the audio data in an event will snap to a zero crossing point. This will help avoid any unnatural clicks at the beginning or end of audio data when the event is moved or split. Then there's the snap to grid setting. This option is engaged by default and makes the tool and event snap to the grid in the first place. And last but not least is the relative grid, which doesn't just consider the time-based grid, but also the original position of the event and the distance to other events. Now, when I'm working with quantized material, I pretty much always leave this disabled. But if I have a free tempo performance, sometimes this can be very useful. So I hope that this short introduction to the grid and grid snapping in Studio One is helpful to you. Experiment and play around with the available options a bit. See what works for your specific workflows. And thank you for watching.